We've all seen animals on the side of the road, but do you know what to do? Dr. Jenna Hunter suggests reacting according to the animal's behavior. So if the dog seems very scared and is running from you, then you may want to back off because they may run right into the traffic on there. Maybe try to take them and get them somewhere safer if they're too scared to come to you. And then call one of the local, depending on what city you're in, call that, that shelter, that animal control, to tell them, hey, there's a dog loose on the side of the highway. I couldn't catch him on there. If you are able to find one that you are able to get a hold of, of course, first check for a collar. You have a collar and a tag, call that vet's office, call that phone number on there, whatever it happens to say, can likely reunite you with your pet. If they don't have a name tag, you can take them to get scanned for a microchip. Most every veterinary clinic or shelters tend to have a scanner for microchips nowadays. So it costs you nothing to walk in the door and just say, can, I found this dog. A, does he look familiar? <laughs> and B, uh, you know, is there, can you check for a chip? So maybe we can find the, uh, find the owner because we've been able to find them those ways. While it's a great thing to get an animal off the streets, do be careful and don't get bitten. You do want to help them. And, you know, the nice thing we have is that while rabies is always a concern, I have not yet heard of one in our area in quite a while, so it's something to definitely be concerned about, so don't get yourself bit. If you're looking to give an animal a second chance at life, head down to your nearest animal shelter and save your next best friend's life. I'm Amy Hardman, reporting for KFDM 6 News.